you something before I, I go to my formal address. When I was in the Politburo and when I was in the cabinet, and it is an argument which has often been repeated, that we are a, we are a dying stock, the war veterans. We are a dying stock, you know, you know after five, we even fought being so many in the 80s, 70s and 80s. Now there are so few, uh, the youth are, are so many. This is a delusional, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a delusional argument. It's not an argument based on fact. There is nothing which says the G40 is a permanent generation any more than the war veterans were not a permanent generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. In every society, you pass on to the next yeah, generation. That's true. What is America today as a modern democratic country is the work of George Washington. Mm -hmm. Three centuries down the line, America is guided, guided by the ethos of George Washington. It is the institutional memory of mm. America making history mm. in the 1770s as mm. the first modern democratic revolution which makes America what it is today. So there is nothing which says that we are the, 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 our, our, our heritage cannot be inherited by the youth because that is the history of Zimbabwe. So that argument, it's a G40 argument, it's it, it is based on a, a, a desire to grab power and dividing society as, as young people, which is the backbone of Zimbabwe's society today. And that will endure more than the, the, the claims by the G40 that we are, we are a, 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 a dying species. We are not, because everybody always starts the history of their country from the most glorious page. In, 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 in national endeavor, and that was done by the war veterans when we were young. When we were even younger than the people who are claiming to be youths today. Mm -hmm. We went when we were between 12 and 19 and 20 to fight that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we were been young before. Mm -hmm. They were also, they are young today, but they were. Then secondly, we dismissed the argument that a collection of youths constitutes a, 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 a party institution, just a mere collection of youths gathered together. No, the party has got very specific constitutions. There's been an element of trying to use ad hoc arrangements within the party to go outside the party structures. First, the use of the interface rallies, which were supposed to culminate in the expulsion of the vice president. That was an ad hoc arrangement. We salute the people of Zimbabwe because by the third and fourth interface rally in, Mash in, in Mashingo, in Midlands, and finally in Bindura, the people have seen, had seen what those rallies were made to. And the people who were coming to those rallies became defiant. That's why there is anger in the G40 that the people were supporting the VP. Yes. Maybe they were not supporting the, the VP, they were just resisting the nonsense mm -hmm. which was coming from being abused mm. yes. by the G4. Mm. The party cannot run on ad hoc arrangements mm. where certain pronouncements are made which contravene the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And related to that fact is the new ad hoc arrangement coming from nowhere called the Youth Council, which met last, last Friday, Saturday. which became another instrument mm -hmm. in trying to deal with the, the VP mm -hmm. and the army mm -hmm. and the war veterans. Mm -hmm. So here yeah, there are institutions cropping up from everywhere by the G40 because they've got a purpose. The president is a lawyer. He knows the constitution of the party. He has said he's a lawyer. Please let's use the, the institutions of the party to address issues within the party. Mm -hmm. This attendance at rallies and the, and, 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 and the ad hoc arrangements, it does not befit a 94-year-old head of state who became an icon by making the rule of law the centerpiece of Zimbabwe. He should go back to what made him get a name mm -hmm. in the country and regionally and across the world, yeah. sticking to the rule of law. And that starts, challenge begins at home, mm -hmm. it should start within some PF. Yeah. yeah. No, no. And the embarrassment of going to an ad hoc arrangement where there is a whole litany of accusations, a whole long list of things which the president is being prescribed to do by G40 people. <laughs> then having the same head of state coming to deny those things and dismiss them. I mean, how do you run a modern country like that, Mr. Comrade President? The Bindura thing. 
Uh, the whole crowd was being around, hating Changwa, hating VP, hating this, hating that, hating that. It was a hate parade mm. by the G40. Now, the president having to debunk, to say, I'm not part of the hate parade. Mm -hmm. Why does the president allow himself to be embarrassed by such people? And there is a constitution in this country. There is no way in the constitution where there is the position of the first lady. Mm -hmm. no. Sure. Mm -hmm. There is no way in the constitution. In the constitution, where there is the position of the first family, I repeat, we had Salim Gabi as the wife of the president during the war. When all of us went to the front to fight, there was no way in Mwenje, which carried the constitution of the party, a provision that we are fighting for the first family. No. The same thing did not exist on the Zipra side. Mm -hmm. Why is this new invention called the first family being bended about by the chief court? Mm -hmm. It is an instrument to try to use power. We will not accept that usurpation of power using things which do not exist. We, 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 we are very legal as war veterans. We are the ones who brought the constitution of Zimbabwe. So we are a constitutional republic. And I always want to remind Zimbabweans, before Zanla forces and Zipra forces agreed to go to democratic elections, there is no guerrilla liberation movement in history which had accepted to go to national elections. Mm. They said the power comes from the barrel of the gun. We shoot our way to power. That's what the Chinese did. That's what uh, the, the Cubans did. That was the Vietnamese did. That was the Koreans did. That was the Algerians did. All of those, the Mozambicans, all of them, they said we take our power because we fought for it and we were organizing the people. But Zanla and Zipra, because we were so confident and we were ultra modern, we accepted to say, even if we are militarily on the verge of victory, we are prepared to go to the election so that the people can go and decide mm. our legitimacy. Mm. And sure enough, we were vindicated in 1970, 1980 by an overwhelming victory, which saw Gomo and President Mugabe. Dr. Ngoma and President Mugabe become the undoubted victims of the elections. So we have a very, very solid democratic tradition. Mm -hmm. And we have maintained that solid democratic tradition. Mm -hmm. We are not a Leninist state. A Leninist state is one like the others I mentioned, where since you acquired power militarily because you were a guerrilla movement, you justify your power because you won military victory. No, 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 no. We went the other way. Mm -hmm. We spiced the military victory by electoral victory. Mm -hmm. So yes. we have a very, very proud de tradition of democracy as war veterans mm -hmm. in this country. And you are saying the democratic space being constantly being tested by the G40. They want to be purchased. They want generals fired from Iran. They want general uh, vice president fired in midnight cabal meetings, caucuses. They want a youth council to dismiss the whole leadership of, 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 the, of the party. We see votes of no confidence being dismissed when they are constitutional within the party. Yet others are admitted when they are, you know, because of the, the dictates of a faction. Common President, can you go back to have the constitution of this country be respected? Also the constitution of the party be respected because we are constitutional democracy. We are saying this because we were accused that we were biased towards the VP, we were biased towards the army. And because he was the Minister of Justice, we could not take our issues to the courts out of caution, out of discretion, because we are afraid that when we go there, they are going to whom they are saying somebody who is claimed to be their own man. We are very happy with the cabinet reshuffle on that score. That a comrade who was in the CIO in our intelligence organization, very very smart. I know Comrade Bunyongo from St. Augustine's. He was two years behind me at Tambe in the 80s, in the 70s. He later joined the war. I went earlier when I was coming from university. I know him very smart and he's <coughs> one of our chief trainers during the war, and he came to the army and has done a good job at CIO. We are very happy that he has been promoted to be Minister of Justice. 
when comrades are promoted, the beauty is that now we want to take challenges about the extra constitutional behavior of the G40. We are now going to a court. Yes. We do hope that the G40 will live to the test of legality mm -hmm. yeah. mm, by yeah. accepting to go and defend their actions before the judges of Zimbabwe. Yes. Because this state is a constitutional democracy, mm -hmm. it's a legislature, an executive, yeah. and a judiciary. Mm -hmm. Now we will be all the things which the G40 have been doing, in war, including the water canoning of mm. the war veterans mm. Mm. two years ago. Yes. Yes. We now want them to be tested before the courts of mm. Zimbabwe. Mm. This is good because it strengthens the democratic tradition yes. of the country. Yes. It builds the sinews of democracy. Mm -hmm. So the G40, get ready. Mm. Yeah. We will be taking you to the courts. Mm -hmm. And now there is no prospect of saying we are going there because Mnangagwa is the, is the Minister of Justice. No. Mm -hmm. We want to see whether they can repeat the same accusation with corporate Bunyong, who is now the new Minister of Justice. Mm -hmm. So, watch this space. <laughs> there will be a lot of play in the courts there, mm -hmm. the G40. And that means even all their conduct, henceforth, mm -hmm. we will be subjecting it to the scrutiny of, of the judges. Court. Yes. We want, we want a democracy which can be tested before the, er the erudite educated minds of the country which have been designated with that job by the constitution of Zimbabwe. So we will be in the courts, Game if on. you me. Game, Game on. on about their conduct. Yes. They will be asking to defend themselves before the judges about what they have done to date. And what happens within ZANU-PF, it's a private club. The supreme law is from the Parliament of Zimbabwe. Mm. So there will be no insulation of the behavior because it is body of that people. It's a private club. Mm -hmm. It must subject itself to the dictates of the, of the constitution law. of Zimbabwe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we will be doing that. Mm. We also take this occasion. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.